Hey guys, so today I'm going to uh, talk about publishing and uh, working with items that you want to uh, get to your your web database or your production database. Um, so uh, this is, a, a, as I said again, a quick fire session. Um, so it's going to be pretty quick. Um, so let's get started. Um, so uh, let's say you have an item um, in your content tree. Let's say it's a home item. Uh, the, which I have available in my local environment, my sandbox environment. Uh, let's say you would like to get this, uh, uh, you know, deployed to your production environment. Um, there's one quick and easy way, and that's, uh, you know, here's on the publish tab, you will have this kind of big publish button. It has a drop down. Um, clicking the drop down uh, link here, you have two options. You can publish site or you can publish item. Uh, typically, you probably will avoid publish site. Um, as a developer, publish site is actually a pretty op uh, a popular option for me um, because I'm usually making large changes to the content tree at once. Uh, let's say I'm creating a bunch of new templates, I've created some new data sources, and I've possibly created some new pages that have renderings on them. Um, you know, I'm gonna make. I will. I want to use publish site because I want to make sure that you know I've published all the templates, I've published all the renderings, and all these other things that I've now configured for this page that I'm going to publish. Um, publish item, on the other hand, uh, if we go ahead and click this, um, it gives you a lot of different options. Um, you can smart publish it or republish it. Uh, also, if you're in an older version, there's uh, interval publishing. Um, but a smart publish will basically go through and determine what needs to be published, what doesn't need to be published. In a lot of cases, a lot of things do not need to be published. So you can click smart publish. I found with older versions of Sitecore, this seemed inconsistent, didn't seem to always work as well. Uh, but since about 8.0 8 of Sitecore, uh, this seems to work flawlessly out of the box. So um, it's pretty much the only option I ever use. Uh, with version, newer versions, like I said. Um, but there's another option here, which is republish. This will basically republish every item. It'll take it from your master database into your web or your production, depending on the publishing targets that you select, um, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but second is this area where you can select if you want to publish this, the, the sub items, which basically says anything underneath this home item would get published if you click publish sub items. Um, publish related items is going to take anything that this relates to, such as a template or renderings, etc. It would publish those items or data sources in some instances as well. Um, I've found that sometimes that doesn't seem to always work, especially with templates. Um, sometimes it will miss a template that it should publish. So um, that's less common for if you're a content editor. Uh, you're not going to be making template changes more than likely. Um, your your uh, partner or whoever you work with that uh, makes uh, builds enhancements to uh, Sitecore would be working with a template, so you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about that. Uh, next off is the publishing languages. Um, I'm going to do, uh, do a quick fire session on languages in a little bit, but um, basically um, you should see all the options of languages that you have configured in your environment. Um, right now, all in my local sandbox, all I have is English. But if you had a tree that was uh, everything, so, such as maybe English, Spanish, France, whatever, then you can select which specific published languages or language versions that you want to publish from your master to your web or production or whatever um, you know production environments that you have um, or content delivery servers that you have. Um, or you can select all, which will publish everything. Um, this can get pretty lengthy in terms of publishing if you have a lot of languages. Um, some of the sites that we work with at, at work um, have a lot of languages. Um, so publishing to all the languages uh, can be very time consuming. Um, lastly is the publishing targets. Uh, this is not something you would necessarily see in a local environment, something where you're developing locally. Uh, you just see the internet web, which is the, the default one that comes out of the box with Sitecore. Uh, but if you are working in a more of a production environment, you're more, more than likely going to see more than one of these. Um, 
Typically, what I, when I set up a production environment, I have two. I have an internet web, which is, I actually rename internet web to preview web. Um, basically, preview is just a preview of what your changes are going to be when they go to production. Um, so you can test them on a preview environment. Um, whereas I have another publishing target for production, which um, you can check. Then once you've verified that your changes look good in your preview or your, your CM environment or content management environment, uh, you can then select the preview and then your changes would go out to your content delivery servers. All right, so that's pretty much this. Um, I wanted to also mention uh, about the published sub items. So let's say you're making a change to, let's say you made, let's say you have a bunch of home items. You're probably not going to necessarily have this, uh, but let's say you have different pages underneath here, home, uh, you might have, you know, contact us, about us, et cetera. And you're publishing by item instead of by site. So if you're selecting this option instead of this option, um, and you go ahead and you delete about us, and it's been published already, and you try to just, you know, maybe just publish the one item or, or, or you've published or you've done a delete, you need to publish the parent item in order to get that item deleted or added to your tree, or, or more than likely just delete when you delete an item. So you delete an item, you want to have it show up in the web database. What you're going to do is click the parent item and publish item, and just make sure you select the sub items checkbox, and it will make sure it will now publish in, to the web or the uh, content uh, delivery uh, servers the specific changes that you made, um, if you deleted something, then it will delete that item from as a child of the parent item. So, all right, that's the basics of that. Um, so there's some other options available to you um, when you're publishing items. Um, most can, can be controlled from up here. There's a few other options that you can uh, make changes to um, inside this area. So to by default, you're not going to see some of these fields. I have them turned on because uh, this is in my test environment, but um, I'm going to unselect standard fields. But commonly, if you're working with uh, this environment, with Sitecore for the first time, you're going to have standard fields turned off, and you'll only see these fields. And these fields are all the fields that a developer or, or you have defined um, in your templates that are inherited by this item. So. Standard fields, however, are ones that are inherited by the basically that main template above your your templates that you customize. So uh, if you create a home template, it inherits up at the highest level uh, to uh, a template that inherits all these kind of standard fields that um, that have all these different values related to a lot of different things that you might see in the tab interface, um, but they control a lot more of Sitecore than just, uh, you know, just these basic fields. So I've turned it on, so I've checked standard fields. Some uh, users may not have access to change this. I will, I will point out if you're a basic user with a basic roles and permissions, uh, you will, you might not necessarily be able to select that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the publishing area. Uh, you'll see there's a lot of options here, but a lot of these uh, sections are collapsed, but you'll see one called publishing. I'll go ahead and select that. Um, but you'll see that what I'll show you in a second with the, you know, the more GUI interface is, you know, there's, there's some fields here that allows you to select uh, publishing uh, parameters for it. So if you select now, uh, this content will be published when you do a publish uh, item the next uh, so if you do a publish item and you've selected this to be you know right now or even in the past it will publish that item to your content delivery servers now if you select a date in the future this item actually will not be published until that date is hit um, also important to note about that as well um, if you don't have a service that automatically publishes items, the, uh, you can actually uh, enable a scheduled task that's in the uh, 
Sitecore config um, or web config if it's an older version of Sitecore um, that enables this ability to trigger a publish automatically without a user in intervention every four hours or whatever interval that makes sense for you. So if you're clicking a date in the future, for example, let's say you want this to be published uh, 3 a.m. on a Monday. Um, if you don't have that service turned on to automatically publish, then you're going to have to then also remember to come on and publish this item at 3 a.m. Um, so that's that's pretty important to mention. Um, but you know, it, it's I see it in a lot of uh, instances that people enable that. So uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, the second thing is the unpublished, which is maybe a little confusing, but it's actually a really useful tool. Um, let's say one day uh, your boss comes out to you and says, uh, we, we don't want you to show um, on our careers page, I don't want you to show this, this um, you know, job posting. Um, but there's a good chance that in the future they're going to want to show that again. You can actually click you know, unpublish now. So it, after this time, this article or this piece of content will not show up on the site um, or not be published to the to to the the content delivery server. So you can do that, save it, and then when you publish it, it will actually delete it from the content delivery server. So that's uh, that's actually kind of cool. Um, if you just want to get rid of something and kind of take it away and and not not necessarily delete it, but you know have it there in case. You know, your boss changes his mind, which I find happens occasionally. Um, anyway, so that's that. Um, next is publishing targets. So this is a little bit more important when you have multiple publishing targets. Like I was talking before, if you're in a, you know, more of a production environment, you might have two. Uh, you might have a preview and you might have a production here. So you can say, oh, I only want this item to be published to the inner or your preview environment and not the... Uh, not the production environment. This is not a very common option to select, and this has actually led to a lot of um, confusion or painstakingly uh, researching why an item won't publish to the production web, uh, you know, database or production uh, um, server environment. But, um, but you know, yeah. So I wouldn't suggest turning this on, but you never know. Um, another option is kind of similar to the unpublished is just selecting the never published option. Um, this is pretty much the same. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. Um, so that's that's really quick and dirty of just the settings, but there's also the settings up here. Um, so first is the restrictions, which is a very similar to some of the fields that we saw. Um, I'm gonna not save this item. Um, so here, here is what we were seeing before. Um, so you can actually, it's, it might be a little easier to set up ranges um, here as well. Uh, so you can say, I want this version. Um, also, that's another thing to uh, keep in mind is versions. So you can say, you know, I want version one to be published, but not version two, for example, if you had multiple versions for this item, which I uh, will one day... Uh, I'll, I'll do a demo video on versionings and language versions, but um, so this is kind of where you might set some restrictions. Um, there's also an item, which is so versions are, you know, each item can have multiple versions. So your version, you're you're telling specific versions to publish, whereas when you're telling the item itself not to publish, then that's a little different because you're you're saying the whole, every version of this item will not get published. And you can do ranges as well, um, which is pretty useful. Um, lastly is targets. This is similar to that, that field I was showing you. Um, you can select specific targets um, that, that it will be published to. I will note that if you don't select anything, it's just going to allow you to uh, basically publish to any of the environments. So. That might be confusing if this is not checked you might go whoa whoa i gotta go in and check all these publishing targets so that i can publish to the internet but you don't it, it as long as if you check one of them then that's going to make it so the first one 
isn't available and then the second one is but if none are selected then it will show all the options if you obviously if you're trying to prevent it from being published to all the publishing targets then you probably would come in here and just uncheck this option um, some other uh, options available to you is the publishing viewer uh, just just gives you a um, kind of a a nice uh, kind of interface to see when an item might be published. Uh, so you can select the start and end dates. Um, and it just basically is, a, it's kind of a nice viewer to see, you know, when things might get published. Um, some other things that, you know, are useful to just, when you're working with a, a specific item, um, you might want to preview the item. Uh, this will actually open up another window, which my pop-up blocker is blocking. Um, there is also a, let's see, where is it at? Presentation. There is a preview here as well. This actually just opens up in this window, um, which you'll see that there's not much going on here. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. So um, if you have any questions about publishing, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there is there is a lot that goes around the publishing target, such as workflow, uh, which I will also be showing you uh, here soon. Um, so it's just stuff, something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, if you're working with content, if you're publishing items, then um, these are different kind of tools that you have available to you for publishing that content. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave me a comment or reach out to me via my blog or or one of the other uh, you know communication methods. All right, that's it. Bye bye.